Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Vail Customs. Today I'm going to show you how to fill up a hollow statue. Um, if you don't like the way a statue is basically being hollow, you can fill it up. Basically what you need to do, as you can see this base here is all hollow. What I did is I drilled into here uh, enough to get the stuff called great stuff. It's a foam, you use this for house stuff, but you can use it to fill up a statue. You just put it in there and this uh, statue is getting a different head so basically I drilled off the head and I'm gonna fill it in here um, it's hollow all into the legs and everything so basically just shake this stuff up really good uh, you want to wear your rubber gloves the stuff gets on your hands the only way to get it off is some acetone and if you don't get it off in time it will dry and it will stay on your hand for like a week um, but it's very easy to clean once it does foam up and it's dry you can just use a hacksaw you know you can use this cuts right through it you can use a, a butter knife or whatever a exacto knife stuff comes right off its foam but it gives something weight uh, basically what I did is I used some blue tape it's friendly put it on here so when I foam it up here if it goes over I could just cut it and rip off the foam tape same thing here my plan is to fill this up and let it come out this way and then I could just kind of cut it up and drill it and work it out um, got two pieces of wood sticks just you know just in case something goes wrong or whatever um, so basically you want to shake this stuff up make sure it's getting out of us it comes out pretty fast it's all, all foamy and just throw it up in the piece and just go with it It will foam up pretty good. It will fill everything. Okay, there we go. See, as you can see, it's starting to... And there it goes. It just starts coming out like crazy. Uh, what we'll do is we'll get it up in here. Stuff sandable. It's very easy to work with. Um, as you can see, it's just oozing out of there. Um, you just let it sit. It's going to start filling up everything. Um, the only place it comes out here, you got to kind of let air kind of push it out because if you kind of try to close it, thing just might expand and pop it or crack it. You don't want to go through all that. So if there was any kind of, there's just something shaking in there. So what I might do is just push it in a little bit more. You can see that little hole in there um, where the peg was going is filling in, but that's okay. It's very easy to just kind of go in there and chop it up. Uh, if you want to sit here while it is foaming and you kind of just want to get this stuff off, you can just use your stick. Um, this is still keeps coming out. Um, if you don't, if you think maybe you missed something, kind of get in there, and, and which I didn't, and it's coming out. So then, what you can do is fill this in. Um, basically, if you want to wipe this stuff off of something, acetone is pretty much all I know that kind of takes it off. Uh, this will fill up and dry up. Uh, what you can do is once it's dried up you can use like some kind of a pan rod and push it out and then you keep using up the stuff Try to go upside down Doesn't really get rid of it So what you can do is you can just unscrew it Just place it somewhere let it sit And that's why I put the tape there as you can see it's going over it and you don't want that stuff sticking to the statue and then you got to sand it and you got to deal with all that stuff so basically just let it run with it see it's filling up it's just going and going and popping and like I said it's very sandable cuttable once it's foam um, 
for some odd reason, it does does get some kind of a cakiness at the bottom. It settles. It's just the way it is. Um, I mean, if you're worried, you can lift this up. It just keeps popping out. Now, it's not going to really weigh it up a lot. I mean, if you really wanted to weigh it up a lot, you'd have to fill it with resin. Um, but that's just a waste of money. You kind of just, this is just a good way of just getting it solid. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit for a while. It's going to be, you know, a few hours. Um, just make sure it's out of the way and nothing's getting on it. Like I said, it's very sticky. Sandables, cut it. And it just keeps coming out. But this is a way of uh, filling up um, hollow stuff. Whether you get a hollow cast of statue, a kit, um, or you just want to uh, seal your house. So we'll be back in a little bit and I'll show you once it's all set up. Alright guys, we're back. It's about, I don't know, I'd say about an hour or so. I just got back from eating some lunch. As you can see, this is why I put the tape up there because the stuff just takes a life of its own. Um, if you kind of pull it off, it is possible. Let's see. So as you can see, the stuff really foams up. You can kind of just saw it down. With, it just comes off soft. I'm sure some of you use this stuff in your house to do a a doorway or window or something. But see, that's why I put all the tape there so it doesn't go on to all that. And it is foamed up pretty nice. Um, it is possible that if you don't give it time, it will get funky on you. And it might get a little stuff in there, but. See, like lifting this up, it might still be a little wet in this here. See, it's kind of popping. Let's see if we can kind of get close to the Oops. Oops. As you can see, it's kind of still popping up in there. So that's why it's a good idea to kind of chip it out in a way. Of course, I lost the knife in the garbage can. You don't want to do that. Um, gotta, see, it's, it's oozing. Oozing out of there. That's okay. You just got to give this time. So you can't really like do this and then all of a sudden start patching and painting over it. You want to give this a day or two, maybe more. Um, as you can see, as I popped it. <laughs> Goosing out of this one too. Okay. But that's what you kind of want to do because you don't want to do this and then start painting and you got all these problems with stuff oozing out. So. Basically, when I put the head in here, it's gonna gonna be a pin anyway. That's good like that. And then we'll go back to this one. As you can see, But even though it's oozing out of those areas, the whole entire inside foamed up like this stuff. And basically like this. So even though it's not heavier, it still is foamed up. And certain uh, items, if they're really thin and they're hollow casted and you don't put this foam in there um, to keep it like a solid, you will get... Uh, you know, in heat and cold expansions and contractions, and it will crack the paint. I learned it the hard way on an item. Uh, I was told from the guys at Jersey Fest 
back in, I think it was 2008, 2009, they said use this to foam it all up, and then once I started messing with it, I learned. So, that's pretty much uh, the way we do it. Uh, what we'll do is we'll come back um, tomorrow or in a day or two, and I'll show you uh, basically what's gone on with it. Alright guys, we're back. It's been about a day. As you can see, all this stuff is pretty much done. What I'm going to do is take all this stuff off. Uh, this blue tape you get at um, Home Depot doesn't really stick to anything. Um, basically, you just take your knife and just sort of... And basically, what I could do is fill Aves over that. Same thing with this one. I mean, it's getting painted anyway, so... But it just gives you an idea how to... Now, there's pros and cons to using this stuff for filling up a statue. Uh, the pro is you get a little bit more weight into it. It's not as hollow. Um, if there was any noise, there was a piece of noise in here that was falling around. It's not falling anymore. Um, this statue here, this is a custom I'm working on. As you can see, he's a big, huge Captain Marvel. Um, this was all hollow casted, and I filled him up as well. But he was so thin that, like, in his leg area, you can just push the resin through and snap it. So I filled them all up and patched up a lot of stuff on him. Uh, so he is pretty much really, like, uh, hollow. Um, the cons, it's very sticky. Uh... You can really mess up a piece if you get this all over something. Um, if you get it on your hands, the stuff will stay on your hand for like a week before it starts coming off. You can kind of peel it off, but you'll rip a layer of skin with you. Um, so basically, while he's not completely like full resin, it's still a little bit more. And pretty much you can just push that back in there and he fits in pretty good. So... That's basically how you fill up a hollow statue if you're going to be customized it, repainting it, and you just want a little bit more weight. Um, so any questions, ask away. If not, try it out for yourselves. I'll see you next time.